This workout is great for toned and sleek arms and back. To get that sleek and toned defined look, you want to include this routine two to three times per week. Don't be fooled into thinking because this is no equipment workout, it's going to be easy, you are going to feel the burn and get a great arm and back workout in. You can do this workout at any adult life stage, but of course it is also safe for pregnancy and postpartum. I will keep putting out pregnancy and postpartum safe workouts, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna do these first exercises on my knees. If your knees are uncomfortable, you could fold up your mat. You could also do this first section standing up. Let's breathe into our side and back ribs. For the entire workout, keeping the ribs down and core engaged. We can start warming up with some arm circles. Going both directions. Let's take our palms down. We're gonna start pulsing here, re-engaging your core if you need to. Steady breaths. Let's flip our palms up, pulsing here. Hopefully you can feel your arm muscles starting to warm up. Let's do tiny circles forward. Good, reversing circles. I'm gonna to turn to the side here, slightly hinge at hips. We're gonna do a modified Pilates swimming. And focusing on your core as well here. With resistance, pulling your elbows down behind, shoulder blades really squeeze together as you come down. Stay at the bottom and pulse, squeezing your shoulder blades. Palms up behind you, tricep pulse here. 
Always bringing your tension back to your core, tightening, lifting. We can bring one leg up. We'll make a W shape and then open, squeezing all your back muscles. Feel as if someone is pressing on the back of your hand as you're moving back, trying to stop your hands from reaching behind. Stay here, pulsing here. Bring your attention back to your core whenever you need to. Let's switch to the other leg. Same movement, moving back with resistance. Pulsing on this side. Amazing, let's bring that foot down. Let's take a couple of shoulder rolls here. You can take one arm, stretch it across. Stretch the other side. Release, coming down to all fours. Let's extend one leg behind us. We're gonna bend our elbows, pointing them directly back behind us. Working our triceps, core is engaged. Switching sides. For the next one, if you're pregnant and postpartum, we can stay on all fours, or for advanced, you can do from your knees or a full push-up position. Take our arms wide apart, lowering down. Shift your weight forward slightly to make it a little bit harder. Moving into a diamond position, making a diamond shape with your fingers. Elbows come out to the side.
Amazing. Let's come up. We can shake it out. Let's move into a child's resting pose. You can either have your arms forward or just rest them beside you, fully relaxing through your arms. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Come on up. Let's grab a sip of water. We can come back to all fours, re-engaging your core. We're gonna lift opposite leg and hand, and then fan out, bring it down again. Same side. If it's too much to fan out, just lift and bring it down. leg and arm level as they fan out. We're gonna hold in bird dog. Continue to breathe. Switching to the other side, lift, fanning out. Good, holding on one side. Lift a little bit. Releasing it down, moving into scapula push-ups. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades, retracting them, and then pressing them apart. one hand up behind your ear, open, and then gently reach through, not all the way. Switching to the other side. Next one we're gonna do for a full 60 seconds. We'll do a push up here and press back into child's pose.
move into downward dog. Fingers slightly in. We'll do downward dog push-ups. Alternatively, you can go against a wall if you're pregnant or you have diastasis recti. Amazing, release down, let's shake it out. We can stretch it out coming to all fours. Let's thread the needle taking one arm under and you can place your weight on your shoulder there. Other arm can reach out. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Good, bringing your hand in front of you back to your face and pressing up. Let's stretch out through the front of our shoulder by bringing this hand back, dropping our shoulder down. Good, coming up, threading the needle on the other side. Coming back up to all fours. Taking your hand out to the side, dropping the front of your shoulder down. Good, coming up, we're gonna stretch our triceps. You can either do this through a puppy pose or just take your hand and press it down behind you. If you're moving into puppy pose, walking your hands forward, forehead comes down to the ground. Flip your palms up and then hands come towards your back and you can drag your elbows towards the ground for a deep stretch. Good, gently release. Walking your hands in. Let's come to a kneeling position, clasping what's round out through our back. Release, let's arch, look up. We can clasp our elbows, our hands, keeping your ribs pulled in. away from your body, lifting up and away. Releasing out. You did amazing. I hope that your arms and back are feeling strong and energetic after that workout. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. I will keep making pregnancy and postpartum safe workouts every week. If you like videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're looking for a schedule to follow where you get a new video every day, I also have monthly calendars for free. I'll link to those in the description box below. If you're looking for a particular type of video, whether it's diastasis recti or post-C-section or perhaps Pilates, 
you can go to my YouTube channel page and on the right hand side search bar, you can search whatever you're looking for. If you do have diastasis recti, I'm gonna to link to my video on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. Thank you so much for joining me today.